In this movie, we'll take a look at anime's capability of hiding edges of shapes that you draw. Well, why would you want to do that? Let's take a look why, and I'll do something just with the mouse right here. We won't use a pen tablet or anything, and I'll be using the add point tool to create an airplane. Then we'll see how the strength of hiding edges can be used to have relatively sophisticated shapes all contained on one layer that you can go ahead and animate very easily. And we'll also use some of the shape organization or the shape order things that we learned in the preceding movie. We'll start with the nose of the plane and click and drag. And we'll just create the, the cockpit area and the main body area and come back to where the uh, tail section is and then round this up and bring it back to the nose. That's our completed shape for the fuselage. For the nose, I'll go ahead and click and drag up and over. And auto weld is turned on, so I'm making uh, special care, or taking special care to not get these points too close to the other lines because I actually don't, don't want to join them up with those other lines at this point. With a shape like this, that's a pretty bulbous tail, so I would go ahead and use the curve adjustment tool, keyboard shortcut C, and tighten up some of these curves a little bit so that we get something that looks uh, more like the aircraft that I would be comfortable flying in. Keyboard shortcut T to grab the point and move this around just a little bit. And since we're in the cartoon world, in this particular case, and I'm not striving for realism, we've got the ability to really make this however we want. Back to A for the add point tool. I'll click and drag, and we'll be getting our main wing right here. And then I'll close it off. And the reason I'm closing it off is that anime won't fill a unclosed or open shape, so all our shapes have to be closed, and that's what we're doing here. Back to the keyboard shortcut C to tighten up these curves, make them a little more believable. And I may want just a slight curved edge right on that uh, leading edge corner right there, but the rest I'll leave as is. Keyboard shortcut T to bring that down. Now, here's what I want to do. I don't want to draw this wing again. I'm lazy, I guess. Keyboard shortcut G for our general selection tool. I've got this object copied. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that keyboard shortcut up here. Command C, Control C if you're on the PC for copy and then paste Command or Control V. Well, let's paste it in place. I have the translation tool set up. I'm going to move this to about right here. Keyboard shortcut G again for our general selection tool. I'm going to grab two points. I'll shift click those. Back to our T for translation tool. I'm simply going to drag this over here and get our wing over there. Now I'll create a similar wing on the back here, or I could actually, if I wanted to, since I'm lazy, just go ahead and copy this again, or since it's already in memory, I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Back to my translation tool, S keyboard shortcut for scale. I'll grab the corner and drag this down. Back to T for translate and we'll get our tail in there. I'm going to copy that, paste it, move it over a little bit. G for our selection tools. Shift click both of those nodes. Whoops, I unclicked that. We get that. Back to T for translation. I'll pull these over and we've got our tail. Now you'll notice that none of the shapes have been filled yet. So what I want to do is to go ahead, I've already set up my default styles palette for a gray, just a basic airplane gray. Now this plane has no windows or anything like that and that's fine. So with the select shape tool, keyboard shortcut U, I'll go ahead and just select each item and after it's selected I'll press the space bar to validate that as the shape and it will automatically fill with the default colors and lines. Do that for each one. And the reason I haven't selected them all is that if I select them all, it's going to try to sort of create holes. You're not as successful when you work with uh, multiple shapes, coloring them all at once. So now we've got several things going on. We've got a wing in the wrong spot. Let me do something with our display control. Right now we've got construction curves showing, and I don't really want to see the construction curves, so I'm going to uncheck that. And now we get a very funny looking airplane that doesn't look like quite what we want it to. So we'll come back to our shape selection tool. I'm going to use the little trick that we learned last time, which is the shift up arrow on our shape order tool. This comes to the front now. I'm going to select this far wing and I'm going to do the shift down arrow. That sends it to the back. Likewise here, I'm going to send that last 
tail stabilizer to the back. Now here's a case where I want to go ahead and hide some of these lines. This can be done for features on a face, ears, parts of eyes that you want closed with um, an eyebrow or, or eyelid or something like that. The hide edge tool is down in the fill section. We've got one that looks very similar up in the draw tools and that's actually to delete an edge. If you choose that one it will unfill your shape because it is no longer a closed shape. So all we want to do is to hide that shape right now. Keyboard shortcut for that is H. With this tool selected I'm going to click where those edges are and they just magically disappear. They're still there but this gives us the ability to animate without that edge showing very fast easy way to go ahead and hide some of those edges and at this point if we wanted we could go ahead and select all and then we could do our special little drawing tool up here for random line width we found that in one of our preceding movies I'll leave it at the defaults and go OK and now we've got some organic shape to our airplane we've hidden some edges again this can be used for for noses eyelids ears all sorts of things like that in our next movie, we'll go ahead and take a look at starting to work with the brushes.